It was a Sunday morning, September 15th, 1963. I, like many other people, were either at church or getting ready to go to church. And at 1022, you could hear the rumblings of an explosion. For about five to 10 minutes after that sound, everything was quiet and calm because people were waiting to hear what was it. And shortly afterwards, the word went out that it had been a bombing at 16th Street Baptist Church. And at the time, we did not know that there was a loss of life, but my father uh, got in the car, uh, he took me along with him and we came over here and it was like a magnet for many other people to come to the church to begin the process of going through the rubble to dig out survivors. And as I sat in the car watching everything that was going on, um, word came that the girls had been killed. Uh, there were many others injured also on that day. And people began to wonder, were other churches going to be bombed? Were other young people going to be killed that day? And the word went out, not just here in Birmingham, but all over the country, that a church sanctuary had been violated, that innocent lives had been lost. And I think that's what compelled the nation and this state in this city to take a second look at the culture and the environment that we have. And I often tell people that, yes, Birmingham has been defined in the past by the dogs and the hose pipes on the black and white film, but I would like to also think that we were defined by people stepping up, that, that solid majority finally stepping up and saying, we cannot have a city that would allow people with such evil hearts to bomb our churches. We cannot call ourselves a just society if we allow innocent children to be killed. And out of that came a new Birmingham. Out of that came the Birmingham that you see today.